in this video um, we're gonna look at how to generate SSH keys to securely log in to your server so we I've um, prepared different um, ways to do that which is um, to generate via SSH console in Linux or in your remote server and in PowerShell or WSL within Windows OS and also within my favorite SSH client which is uh, Bitvice and um, if you're interested please keep watching so um, by the way this video is part of my free course how to make money with websites and if you're not familiar with this, I highly suggest you check it out. Um, it's in my playlist. So you can check it out on the channel within my playlist, which is this title, Make Money With Websites. So um, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing is let's check it out how we can do that um, with different um, types here so we can actually generate just for just using this code um, within your SSH console and I've created I mean I've gathered information for for different types of um, how you can generate it but most of the time I use only this one so this is by the way to generate um if you're not familiar with this i actually have created a course i'm not sure if it's a course um in my previous channel a business channel that i made early on i created this but i'll probably just um um update it so um this is um the code to generate ssh within your local server and then this here, these extra ones, um, is the type of the key. And then the, I believe, the, what do you call this? Um, I believe this is how strong is the key. Um, and then this is uh, the C is so that you can add a comment so most of the time this is what I use um, the comment will show after your um, key which um, which with this command will generate so after the key the comment will be um, posted or will show after the key and yeah so there's a a few things I've gathered here that you can use but I'll just show you this one and you can um, just explore all the other types here it should be self-explanatory because I've added no a note here I will post all this information on my blog so just check it out in the description the link the link is in the description after I uploaded this video so let's do this um, of course let's go to our SSH console in Linux so if you have a server um, with a Linux um, OS so you can just um, log in there so I'll just use my Bitvice SSH client to log in within my Linux server um, let me check this out. So I'm going to use my CentOS. You can use any type of um, Linux OS, Ubuntu, um, any Debian uh, distribution, any RHEL distribution. So I'll just use my um, Linux, my CentOS here. So for so with. Um, I will first log in as root 
so I don't have to add sudo because I'm, I'm a bit lazy in regards to it. So the first is I do have here, you can generate through this um, code, but we'll just use this one because this will um, create a type of um, security key or make uh, th just um, think of this as a secure key it will add a security for your key and then the comment so that you can add a comment so what you want to do is just copy this one and paste it there and then replace the comment with um, I use I usually do this by um, by what do you call this I do have here as well this one so if you're in a server I just use this uh, format here or simply um, it will generate by the way if if your server is new um, this might not this might not work or this may not be um, helpful for you because um, you haven't yet set up your host name and the user should be probably root yes um, if you're using a different um, user it will show automatically the user here and the host name but the problem is if you haven't yet set up your host name etc this might show um, something else maybe the IP or whatever host name it was um, generated for you by your provider so what you can do is to just uh, probably um, add a name of the server let's say for example if if this server is um, for example I always use just my name even if I'm root so that I, I would know that I was the one who who generated this key and then the host name that I plan on using for this um, server so since this is Santos I've already generated by the way but just in case you haven't yet um, it, it's probably better if you if you just add the comment manually and the host name so that I don't really get confused when I check on the key and where it was from so let's say mavix.xyz so this will be the server host name and then the user who generated this key so that it will be shown in the public key and we, you will know that um, if you have other um, remote servers that you've plugged this um, key in you will know that this is from this server okay so um, just hit on enter and it will ask you to generate um, uh, where, where uh, I mean the name of the key so if you don't um, add a name this will if you add uh, a name by the way here it will customize the name of the key so usually um, if you don't add a name or customize the name if you don't type anything here it will automatically be saved as this which is the standard um, name of a public key the problem with this is that in case within the server within this remote server that we are generating a key from um, this might um, what do you call that this might overwrite any existing key as a switch keys that that was uh, generated early on just in case you have generated by a default um, SSH it might overwrite this so it's I highly recommend you to customize the name instead 
So since you are um, generating by your own user, or I probably just use my name and <coughs> the passphrase will be you can use this um, as empty so that when you log in later on you don't have to add a passphrase so it will automatically log you in without a password it's still secure but if this is a production server I highly recommend you to add a passphrase but by this um, for the sake of this tutorial I'll just um, let this empty same passphrase empty so I'll just excuse me I'll just press enter again and now it should already been um, generated so let's check out where did um, this command saved our SSH keys so let's ls on that so let's see here so it generated the SSH keys on our um, home directory so as you can see so um another thing by the way guys um if you're um if you're still generating uh i miss on um going to your ssh folder here um this should this should probably be in this um folder which is the dot ssh um, you have not um, seen that because I haven't I have not um, have not shown the let's go here instead let's ls and show the what do you call this the hidden files so here are some of the hidden files here then where's that so here is the SSH so um, if you're not familiar um, the ones that has period in front of a file name or a folder it it is um, a hidden file so any keys should um, should be organized or should be in here so since we have not um, navigated in that folder earlier before we generated the key it was in it was saved within our home directory which is this one so this is the private key and this is the public key so we want to move this files within our ssh um, hidden folder so let's do that um, by wait a bit um, C CP Merricks. So I'll just use this one, and then. So this means is that this is a wild card. So, um, I just use this. It this means that I am cop copying all the Merricks, um, the first words with Merricks files into the hidden folder SSH. So let's go to let's go inside the SSH folder. So as you can see, it's now copied there. So now the next thing is to um,
to verify this. So let's check out the public key here if there is a note that was added. So let's So as you can see, um, I've used a cat, the cat command to show what's inside this file, which is the, my public key. So this is my public key. This is the key that you want to add into the authorized keys of your remote server that you want to log in from this server. So for example, so um, if you remember earlier, we have added a comment. So this is how the comment shows. It will be appended after the key within your public key. So, so as mentioned, um, this public key, you will add, you will add this, you will copy the content of this into your remote server's authorized keys so that you can, um, what do you call that? You can log in via this, um, this server, the Santa server, to what, whatever remote server that you want to log in using SSH keys. So, um, if you're not familiar with connecting through SSH, please, Check out my next video after this. Um, just check it out on the channel if I haven't yet um, added that one. Uh, maybe in a late in in a later days, so you can just check it out um, because this video is only for how you can generate SSH keys. So that's how you can generate uh, an SSH keys. It should be should be the same with the other. Um, types here for the PowerShell um, not with Bitvice, Bitvice is different for the PowerShell it should be just the same but I'll still show you how you can do that um, within Windows so let's go ahead and do that so as mentioned this is for Linux um, or OpenSSH so you can do that via OpenSSH and for Linux, it should be the same. I mean, within Windows, it should be the same because for the WSL, we are using OpenSSH or Linux system um, via SSH. PowerShell is different, but I will show you right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just exit on this. And let's go and open our PowerShell here. <laughs> PowerShell should be um, should be installed by default if you're a Windows user. I'm using Windows 10, so just click on that. So now I am here logging in as a PowerShell user. So you want to um, you want to use the same command here because I want to have a secure secure um, key. So I'll add this. The type is RSA, and uh, I believe this is a bit rate. I'm not really sure. Please let me know in the comments, guys. So just copy that one, and we'll just do the same thing earlier. But we want to organize where it should be saved where the key should be saved and by the way guys if you don't add a custom name by the way if you if you just um if you remember earlier we have added a custom name which is mawix if you don't add that it will automatically in linux it will automatically be saved within the ssh um hidden folder so you don't have to move um, the files if you're not within the SSH hidden folder. So so to do that, if you want a custom file name, you want to um, move into whichever folder you want the 
keys to be generated from. So let's do that by navigating to the folder that I use in my Windows. So I want to go to the documents first. So let's CD on the documents and then LS on that. So I have my keys here. So let's CD on the keys. Oops, sorry. CD on my keys. So by the way, guys, if you CD, um, if if the name of the folder, by the way, is um, two words or more, um, you have to add uh, a double quote. Because if you don't do that, you will not be able to um, navigate into that folder. So now I have here, um, as you can see, I have... Uh, an existing keys with Mavix and other files here so I want to first let's probably first um, delete Mavix because oops sorry oh sorry this is a PowerShell by the way so let's probably just leave it alone because I'm not familiar with, with other commands using PowerShell. I'm just familiar with Linux. So let's do this by, um, let's generate here the same command that we did in Linux server. So let's do that. So since I already have Mavix, um, I'll probably just use... PowerShell. PowerShell um, in my think in my Lenovo. So I'll just add this by the way because I'm using um, as mentioned earlier you want to add a comment where you're I mean, what device or what the server user and the and the host name. So since this is my local PC and it's it's a Lenovo PC, so I want to add this as my the name of my um, PC or the name of the server or host name. Since this is an it, this is not a cloud server, then I'll just use the name of my PC, and then the type of um what they call this one console that I'm using it from, so that I don't get confused. So I'll just use PowerShell, and I will not use um the username because I don't usually use PowerShell anyway. So um, PowerShell should be okay and then let's just do that just press enter so now it is already generating so now it is um, asking us as you can see guys so if you don't add a name here which is a custom name for your for your um, key which is id underscore rsa it will be saved to your dot ssh folder which is a hidden folder under this location in your windows pc so if you add a custom name here it will be saved within the folder you have navigated from which is um as you can see we have navigated within um, my, my keys folder under my documents so this is where i add uh, my test um keys so when i'm using or creating tutorials in regards to um wsl powershell or whatsoever uh, i added i add them here so Let's do that. Um, let's just create custom name 
the same thing we did earlier. So I'll just add PowerShell <laughs> and then hit enter. And then the same thing earlier. I don't, I will not add passphrase. So now if we ls here, you should see that we have created now the private key and this is the public key. So um, the same thing earlier, let's do check the, the content within our public key. So as you can see, here is the note that we've appended. So yeah, that's how you can create uh, or generate within PowerShell. It should be just a little bit the same within Linux. Uh, the only difference is that um, the, the navigation. <laughs> So, okay, so let's go ahead and proceed on doing within w WSL. It should be the same within the tutorial of our Linux earlier, but um, I still want to show you how you can open WSL. So if you're not familiar with WSL, by the way, I do have a video about that. Um, I I'd recommend you to check out my channel, YouTube, at Mawix, um, and let's see here. And just go to the search bar here and, ch and search for WSL. This is a Windows syst, I believe, Windows subsystem for Linux. So you should check, should be able to see here, excuse me, how to install Linux or just go to my playlist instead and find the The ones with SSH here, this one, SSH. So as you can see, so um, find the one without the depreciated because this is not anymore working, I believe. They've updated how you can install that one. So I do have here the updated one. Or if you are opening within the depreciated version, you should be able to see where is that here. I do have a blog as well. And you can check it out within this updated version. So the one with the SSH course part one. So you can check this out if you're not familiar with how you can install um, the WSL, the Windows um, subsystem for Linux. So that's, that is um, the WSL aberration. Uh, that is the aberration. I mean, that's what it means in re about WSL. So WSL is um, something that you can use Linux OS to SSH to your remote server within your lin within your Windows system. Um, other than or another another I mean other than PowerShell so you can use the WSL you need to watch this video first by the way if you want to use the WSL because there's a few things you need to install to use that so just check out this video and then once you've done installing WSL then you can just um, 
go to your PowerShell <clears throat> and then oops sorry and then just um, open up or just run probably Ubuntu and as you can see if you run Ubuntu you will be able to log in as a user within your Ubuntu um, OpenSSH. So I'm already in my Ubuntu OpenSSH. I also have a CentOS, I believe. So if you already have installed WSL within your Windows, you can also um, you should also install the terminal. So as you can see here, um, I do have a terminal. And if you open that, you will be able to open different types of OS that the WSL supports. So as you can see, this is, um, if you're not familiar, um, this is the PowerShell that we've open up earlier but I just opened this within my terminal Windows terminal and if you scroll if you click on this um, arrow here the drop down arrow you will see you can open command prompt cloud shell Azure Ubuntu CentOS 7 um, this is um, not by default not supported the sent sent OS but I do have um, a method how you can do that I will create a video maybe later on in regards to this but this is Ubuntu so the one that Microsoft supports is Ubuntu and other Debian um, distros so you can do this um, within the terminal so you can also open Ubuntu here or you can simply um, just use the PowerShell the way I showed you here and then just um, run Ubuntu command and it will automatically um, log you in within your Ubuntu um, open as it is so now um, it will be the same way how you can do this in our first um, tutorial section for Linux because this is a Linux um, OpenSSH console so the same thing you can you, you can use this the same thing earlier so let's just copy this this one and then just paste that one and then we can then just use probably Ubuntu so Ubuntu or maybe WSL Ubuntu probably Ubuntu Ubuntu WSL at Lenovo PC so let's hit on enter and then the same thing earlier so as you can see guys this is the format if you're using Linux so within the home you will be you will have a dot as a hidden folder where your keys should be saved so since we are since we didn't go into the dot ssh hidden folder um if we create a custom name for our key it will it will replace or i, I mean it will be saved where we are or where we have navigated from so since we have we haven't navigated anywhere I believe we it will be saved within the home folder 
So our home directory within my Mawex um, user within the Ubuntu OpenSSH console. So um, let's uh, uh, let's probably try not to customize so that it will be saved so that I can show you how it looks like if we don't add a custom name if it really does save within the hidden SSH folder so let's probably just hit enter so it will generate a default SSH key hit enter and um, let me see here okay so I already have generated in the past the default um, SSH keys and now open SSH of my Ubuntu WSL asked me to overwrite so I'll just I'll just do yes but if you uh, make sure that you don't you are not using that default SSH keys so if you do make sure to um, back it up I'll probably just show you how you can do you can back it up so let's let's just hit no for this and I'll let's back up first your keys here so let's CD within the um, hidden folder SSH folder and it's LS here and then let's back up id rsa dot zip so I will back up using zip id and this is what I did um zip is is the command to zip um, oops sorry to zip the files so this is zip command and then this is the file that I want the name and with the zip file to add all the files with the first word ID which is this includes all of both of this this is a wildcard so since they are they have the same first word then it should include both of them the lazy way to zip a file so enter that one so if you ls within the folder so this should already um, zip all this keys here so this is how I back it up you can also back it up using move command to back up but this is the lazy way I do back up so just bear with me and then the next one is to confirm that we have um, backup both of these files within the zip file um, let's try to check out the files within the zip folder so to do that um, I want to show you as well how you can let's let's check out the cheat sheet of the command to check the zip file I, I mean the files within the zip file so let's do let's use the cheat that as H and this is by the way guys if you want to uh, check or if you want to see example commands for a Linux um, machine or Linux commands if you if you want to have um, examples you can use this cheat.sh um, website you can just navigate it within your browser or you can curl within your server 
and you can add the, the name of the command after the slash. So this is how it works. So as you can see, I've added zip after the slash here. So it will show me examples of the zip command. So here is what I want. This is the, the command I want to use to check on the ID RSA zip. So let's just paste, oops, sorry. Let's copy this. Let's paste that command and then let's copy this zip file here to see the files within that zip file. So as you can see, it shows both the files that we have, we are supposed or we have intended to back up into the zip file. So this confirms that we have backed up the both of this um, existing SSH keys. So now we are ready to overwrite them with the command that we've used earlier, which is this. So I have um, used, if you're not familiar with the history command, uh, history, if you run history, um, it will show you all the commands that you've used um, within the server if you have not um, cleared them out. So to clear them out, by the way, just add dash C to clear the history, but I don't do that so that I know what's going, what I've done. Um, earlier within the server or the, within this open SSH console. So let's copy the same command that we've add along with the comment. So let's do that and overwrite the default SSH keys. So yes, now because we are already safe to overwrite it. So let's hit Y. And then I will still um, make the passphrase empty. There's a reason for that. So now let's check. So as you can see, it should be already overwritten. To confirm that, let's see if this, co this comment will be appended within the public key. So let's do that. Um, so as you can see, this is the the comment that we've created for this um, key. So which means it is it it was confirmed that we've already overwritten this um, key um, from the old ones. So that's how you can generate. By the way. Um, SSH keys within um, Linux, PowerShell, WSL, and the last one I want to show you is how you can generate via Bitwise SSH client. So if you're not familiar with um, using SSH or commands, terminal, whatsoever, if you're just new, um, this is very helpful for you. So, by the way, um, I am using um, Bitwise SSH. I've mentioned this tool plenty of times within my channel. If you're not familiar, um, I suggest you go through my free course here so that you would know how I use the tool to um, log in within all my servers. Um, you can create um, different profiles for this. It's very easy. Um, user friendly you can rdp you can sftp and whatsoever you can use this um, tool um, it is um, an alternative with using putty if you're familiar with putty um, that is an open source um, ssh client but it's an old style or old school tool it's not very user friendly for me when I when I was getting started, but after I've used this Bitwise, I've fallen in love with this tool. So that's why I recommend this if you're 
um, even if you're an expert, this is very um, user-friendly. This is very um, powerful tool. Very simple. So let's go and generate um, an SSH key within Bitvise. So to do that, you can um, um, do this via this client key manager here. Just click on that. And I do have some existing um, <laughs> keys already in here. This is my private key. So if you already have an existing private key, you can import or export. And But we will be talking about those um, functions later on. This is, I mean, in a separate video but for this video we will just um, look at how you can generate so this is how you can generate one so just click on this generate new and then just click on global here so this is the one um, if you're if you if you are uh, if you have um, remember earlier T type of key this is the one that is used for this command so the type of key or it's 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 shown algorithm so maybe this is an algorithm type of algorithm key whatsoever and this is the size by the way guys so this is the the size i'm not sure probably this is bit rate or whatever so this is the size of the key so as you can see this one this is the default if you don't add if you just use this the default um, size will be um, this this one but since we have added the type of key and the uh, that dash b tag I believe it's bitrate I'm not really sure but since it's it's shown here it's the size and this is the algorithm the type of key so some of here I'm not familiar with them but usually this is the standard one but I believe um, AWS uses this uh, let's see here because this is a key for my um, Oh, okay, so they're just using RSA. I'm not sure if I did. So as you can see, this is my personal one. So I'm using 4096. This is the standard one of AWS. But I, I believe I have created one. Probably that's Alibaba. So uh, let's probably continue here. So just use global here and then... <laughs> the size it should be the same here so to secure this is RSA and then this is the size and as you can see the passphrase you can also add here but let's just keep that empty um, and then this is the comment guys so this is how you can add a comment so we will just use bitvice so that we know that we are this is the name of my pc it will automatically generate um, the name of your pc or your host name so since this is bitvice is installed within my windows pc um, it will automatically pull out the name of my computer which is i believe it's in here so let's go to my pc here properties so as you can see, device name. So if you're in Linux, it's probably host name. So as you can see, um, I'll just use Bitvice here because I'm generating this key within Bitvice. So to generate, just click on generate. So it should show here. So this is the one that we've generated, as you can see. So this is um, your the client key manager um, section here in Bitvice. This is the private key, I believe, or 
um, not really you can export so if you want to export guys you can export here different types of SSH so this is the standard format and this is the open SSH I suggest you use open SSH if you want to export public key and copy it to your remote server that you want to log in via your Bitvice or via the key that you've generated within Bitvice and also if you want to this is by the way yeah sorry this is the public key and then this is the private key so um, this is a Bitvice format I suggest you just use open SSH so if you're using potty you can use this format but most of the time I just use open SSH because it is supported for most all of the operating systems so whatever um, open um, SSH console that I use like for example within Windows with WSL PowerShell they support open SSH that's why I use usually just use OpenSSH because it's support, supported um, cross-platform so just export that and you should be good to go um, so uh, and yeah once again that's how you can um, generate SSH keys within Linux server um, Windows OS with PowerShell and WSL and Bitvice as its client. So if you have any questions, please comment down below or go to my community forums at community.mawix.com. So the next part, guys, um, this is a bonus section, by the way. Um, since um, this course is related to a cPanel server um, web hosting control panel uh, I'm going to show you as well how you can generate an SSH keys within WHM and probably also within cPanel users so let's do that by going to SSH keys uh, just search SSH keys in your <coughs> search bar you can you you can do this here also here so let's click on this one the problem with using um, WHM manager or the web hosting manager by cPanel is that you can only generate um, I believe root as you can see here it's it's it stated that this is a root SSH keys. Um, the problem with this is we don't really practice using SSH keys for root accounts because we usually disable the login for root within SSH. So you probably will not need this, but instead use uh, um, a user that you have generated within your SSH console which I have shown you earlier um, because if you use root SSH um, it's not or it's it's a bad practice because we don't want to log in as root um, which is part of this course which is why um, but don't worry about that I will just I'll just discuss this later on with you um, this is why we we have this additional security section here uh, additional basic server protection I just created this tutorial uh, once uh, one at a time but after we have um, gone through all the steps here I will show you the whole picture why we need to um, to learn all these steps here I will show you or I will make you understand the whole picture 
um, which is to generate SSH keys and how you connect um, because we will be disabling root um, SSH access because we don't want to um, log in as root but instead we want to log in as a user and not a user within um, cPanel as well but still I want to show you how you can do that within WHM and cPanel as a user so as a root you can generate an SSH keys within WHM and as a user you can generate an SSH key as a user of, of cPanel but as but as I mentioned the previous videos how you can add user and within this video the earlier tutorial um, in the earlier section this, which is um, here Linux console in your local Windows PC or Linux SSH console you, this is the best way you want to generate your SSH keys or your within your Bitwise as clients, which is why this is supposedly only the the tutorial I want to show you. But um, um, this is a bonus section that I want to let you know as well, um, just in case you want to know how you can manage SSH keys within your WHM and cPanel user account. So again, so this is um, not. A good practice to generate SSH keys um, using your web hosting control panel unless you are you are doing that within the terminal within the SSH console um, because we want to just use uh, a user that is not involved in the cPanel user access it should be just um, a secret user because we don't want to publicly show the user um, just in case anyone hacks on your user account so um, okay let's start with generating SSH keys for your root SSH keys within WHM to do that let's generate a new key here you can also import but we will discuss that later on in another video. I believe I already have um, mentioned that. Um, let me um, help me out to check it here, but I'm not really sure though, maybe not. Um, we will probably just discuss the other um, function later on, but of course in this video we only want to show how to generate keys so this should be just the same self-explanatory guys the key name which is default by ID RSA underscore ID as RSA um, same thing earlier that we've done but this is uh, within the user interface within the web hosting control panel um, WHM so if you want to customize your key you will have to type in the name here and uh, key password this is I believe the key phrase um, if you want to add a key phrase and also the password strength so um, you can check here week okay so this password strength um, here it will show you if your password or your passphrase is weak or um, uh, it's it's strong so you can use this password generator to do that or to generate a password for your key um, but since we are only generating the default I'll just keep it empty also empty the password and this is the type guys so as mentioned earlier the same thing in the bit uh, this is the algorithm that they've they stated in bit but this is the key type so there is DSA and there is RSA this is the standard one that we want to use so as you can see the default one is 2048 
we want to um, use 4096 so it is a stronger key so to generate that just hit on generate key password could it be em empty password strength must be at least 65 so um we um to to by the way guys um if if you're if you're encountering this password cannot be entry you can go to um let me see here this configure security i believe so just open that up and set up this here select this password strength and click on this and then go to SSH keys this is um, specific to WHM guys so this is the th this was selected by default so meaning WHM the default of WHM because they are they are they want you to be secured they don't want you to generate an ssh keys without a passphrase but if you want to log in or if you want to log in without a passphrase you can select this one here to customize the settings within the ssh keys section and make sure to put this into zero meaning um, you can you are letting your server generate an SSH keys with zero or um, within the minimum of zero character meaning you can generate an empty passphrase and then just hit saved so once you've done that go back to your um, manage SSH key section and then try to generate the key once again or maybe we need to refresh and then let's generate the key once again so as you can see we are now we now have created the SSH key so just click on the return SSH key manager here so as you can see we already have the name by default ID underscore RSA it should be within your um, hidden dash SSH folder and this is the private keys this is the public keys so you need to 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 log in using these keys you need to download this in your local directory and then you can import it within your bit files or you can use WSL or your PowerShell to access but you will need to use um, you will need to point the key the private key um, with um, along with a command which is a bit confusing for beginners so I suggest you just use that just use Bitvice and import the private key here import and that should be good to go and add the details of your server here that's as simple as that but first of course you need to authorize this first so that it will be copied so that this public key will be copied to the authorized keys so you need to first manage click on the manage authorization and authorize that so once you've done that you should be able to use the private key to log into your SSH keys ID which is named ID underscore RSA which is by default generated for you for your root access SSH keys for this WHM server so this should be the same within cPanel but I will still show you how you can do that within a cPanel user and um, yeah so um, let's say for example if you want to log in using this private key within this server to another one you can just download the public keys here I assume you already know how to do that but if you're not um, I will discuss later on how this works how you can connect to other servers remotely um, from one remote server to another remote server 
and also from your local server all the generated keys that we've created within this video i will show you how you can connect to your remote server using those keys um, with the commands using command line and bit by ssh and also within um, as mentioned here in your remote server to another remote server um, um, so so I suggest you subscribe to get a notification later on or just check on the channel maybe if you don't want to subscribe that's okay with me and again let's go ahead and go to um, our cPanel user let's check out here if we have first um, so okay I, I don't have a user yet so I'll just create one first let me create one <laughs> so I'll probably just generate this password here um, generate use default create so I'll just use this and then I'll go ahead and log into cPanel. So now I'm in cPanel. So within cPanel, you can um, search for the SSH access here. So SSH, so this is where you can um, generate SSH keys within your user. So my user is, um, let me check here. This is the user. So this is how you can generate using a user within cPanel, within your cPanel server. So the user is the Mavix. So as you can see here, um, let me, let's probably go to the cPanel home. So as you can see, current user is Mavix. So let's hit on manage keys. So this is how you can, um, generate within this section or within this um, platform here so the same thing in the whm um, platform let's go to here it should be the same so you just import a key here your private key here um so it's the same but it's, it doesn't it's just don't look the same so you can generate here and same thing it, this is the default one um let's just keep it as default you can also customize that um if you want to but let's just keep that as default the key password it, i'll just this is the key phrase so i'll just keep that empty and if you want to use a password for that, you can use this password generator. Um, the key type, you already know that. I've mentioned that earlier. Um, we want to use 4096 size, generate keys. Um, this is for the user, by the way, guys. In this, um, in the WHM, this is for the root user. While for this, this is for the user um, Mavix that we just created as a cPanel user. So the key already has been generated. Let's go back and here is the public key, the private key. You can download the private key here to plug it up in your um, Bitvice if you want to. Just import the, the private key so that you can access the user via SSH but before that the same thing earlier in WHM you need to first manage authorize this so that the public key will be plugged into the authorized keys file so now it's been authorized so you should be able to log in to this um, user via SSH <coughs> and yeah so that's how you can just generate um, SSH keys within WHM and cPanel. And the next video, I will show you how you can log in um, using SSH keys, different ways to log in. Or maybe first is how you can copy. You can connect them 
um, from local to remote, from remote to another remote server. Um, using Bitfies, I will show you that in later videos and how you can connect to your um, remote servers. So once again, thank you for watching this um, video and my series here. Um, I appreciate you guys. Um, and then, yeah. <laughs> and also, um, this commands here, you can explore the other types of commands that I've added here on the blog. I will add a link in the description later on so um once again thank you guys for watching this video and before i forget happy new year to all of you merry christmas and i'll see you in the next one